Hi all and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet a simple bucket hat for winter. I'll be using this simply chunky yarn but you can use any yarn you want and also the recommended hook size. I'll be using size 5 millimeter hook you will also need a pair of scissors stitch marker and measuring tape and we are going to start with the magic ring hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook go back under this one here yarn over and pull through the loop you had on your hook and this is your magic ring next we are going to place single crochet into our magic ring insert your hook inside the ring yarn over bring it up two loops yarn over and pull through and this is your first single crochet and we need all together six but before we do so we are going to place a stitch marker here so we know it's our first stitch so we have one two three four five and six we are going to pull this yarn and like so and we are going to work into this very first stitch where we have our stitch marker and into this very first stitch we are going to do increase and we are going to place two single crochet in every stitch around so our round two will be increase round first round six single crochet in magic ring second round increase round so insert your hook into this very first stitch where is your stitch marker you can take your stitch marker out and place two single crochet so one and two replace your stitch marker into the first stitch you made like this so this is your first stitch here and we are going to place again two single crochet in every stitch so into the next stitch single crochet one and two and every time we do two single crochet in the one stitch we are going to call it increase so we have one two three four five six seven seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so at the end of this round two you should have twelve stitches and to count it you can count it like this one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So for the round 3, we are going to walk into this stitch here, where is our stitch marker, and we are going to place only one single crochet here. Replace your stitch marker, so again, you know where is your first stitch. And into the next one you are going to place two single crochet so increase one two three four five six seven eight 
to into the next one only one single crochet into the next one increase so two single crochet one single crochet and two one and two one into the next one two into the next one one into the next one two into the next one one and last one will be increase so we are going to end up with two single crochet and this was our round three so one two and three okay so for the round four you are going to place single crochet into this stitch here and replace your stitch marker and we are going to place single crochet into the next one as well but into this third one we are going to do increase so we are going to place two single crochet one and two into the next one one single crochet again into the next one one single crochet into the next one increase so one and two again one single crochet one single crochet increase again into the next one one single crochet one single crochet into the next one increase so we have two and then again one single crochet one single crochet increase one and two one single crochet one single crochet and the last one will be increase so one and two okay to start around five you are going to again take your stitch marker out and place your first single crochet replace your stitch marker so this is your first single crochet and we are going to do three so one two three and then increase one two three increase one two three increase and so on so this is my first one one two three increase again one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet increase one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet increase one and two increase is two single crochet in the same stitch again one two three increase one two three increase again one two three and the last one is increase and this was the round five for round six we are going to do four single crochet increase four single crochet increase four single crochet increase okay so again into this first stitch where is our stitch marker place a single crochet and replace your stitch marker so that's one 
two, three, four, and now increase one and two, and again one, two, three, four, and increase two single crochet into the same one. And again, one, two, three, four, and increase one and two, one, two, three, four, and increase, and again, one. Two, three, four, and increase one and two. One, two, three, four, and last one, increase. And this is the end of the round six for round seven you are going to place first single crochet where was your stitch marker and replace it so that's your first one so one and for round seven we are going to place five single crochet then increase five single crochet increase five single crochet increase five single crochet and increase so it is one two three four five and now increase one and two again one two three four five and increase One, two, three, four, five, and increase one and two, and again one, two, three. four five and increase one and two again one two three four five and increase one and two again one two three four and five and the last one will be increase and this is the end of the round seven for round eight we are going to place single crochet again into this very first stitch and replace your stitch marker and we are going to place six single crochet so one two three four five six and now increase so one and two and again you will be placing six single crochet increase six single crochet increase six single crochet increase Okay, all the way around. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase one and two. Again, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, and increase one and two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and increase one and two. One, two, three, four. Five and six, and the last one increase one and two, and this is the end of the round eight for round nine. Again, single crochet into this very first stitch, take your stitch marker out, and place your first one. Replace your stitch marker. And now we'll be placing seven single crochet increase, seven single crochet increase, seven single crochet increase. Okay? So this is your first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and increase one and two again one two three four five six seven and increase continue like so until you get to your stitch marker Okay, so I am at the end of round nine and I have done my seven single crochet and into the last one increase. And this is the end of the round nine. For round ten, we are going to place first single crochet here and replace your stitch marker now we'll be placing eight single crochet increase eight single crochet increase eight single crochet increase so this is my one this is my first one two three four five six seven eight and increase one and two and again one two three four five six seven eight and increase one and two continue all the way around until you get your last increase just before your stitch marker so i have done eight single crochet and my last increase one and two and this is the round 10 finished so i have finished 10 rounds and you should have seventeen centimeters or nearly seven inches and if you are using a thinner yarn you may need to work more increasing 
rounds. This simply chunky yarn, I am going to stop here. And from now on, we'll be placing single crochet in every stitch around. You can replace your stitch marker. That's my first one. And there will be no more increasing. Only single crochet like this. in every stitch. So work your single crochet all the way around until you come to your stitch marker here. No more increasing, only single crochet. Like so. And you will work like this into the spiral, no more increasing until you reach the top of your ears i'm going to show you on this one here so be working on the sides and i have done 10 rounds but you may need more if you are using a thinner yarn and you will simply work single crochet in the rounds until you get to the top of your ears. Or if you want it longer, maybe you want this bucket head, the sides to be longer. It's up to you can continue for more rounds. But we are going to do 10. So continue like this for 10 rounds. And I meet you very soon. And remember, we are not slip stitching, simply just continue and work into the spiral, like so. So once you have finished your 10 rounds or you reach the top of your ears, if you are using different yarn, you may need to do more rounds. Or if you are using thicker yarn, you may do less rounds. So I have done my 10. And for this 11th round, we'll be working again single crochet all the way around. No increasing. But we will be working only into the front loops. So I show you. I'll take this stitch marker out. And into this front loop, which is this one. So this is my front loop and this is my back loop here. And we are going to do single crochet front loop only. So insert under this front loop like so. We are now bring it up and do single crochet like so. Don't forget to replace your stitch marker. And work like this all the way around. Front loop, single crochet. And the trick for this is, I show you on this one, as you can see, before we start to work on our brim, this stitch will lift our brim a little bit. So it will look much nicer, as you can see on this one here. As you can see, from the side, it will lift the brim a little bit like this. So let's continue and work single crochet front loop only. And do so only for one round until 
you get to your stitch marker here. And you can already see as I'm working front loop only, they start to lift up a little bit. As you can see here from the side, I can show you from the side, and it's lifting slightly up. And I have my last front loop here. And this is what we have so far. As you can see here. And now we are ready to work on our brim. Okay, so for our brim, we are going to start the increase and to do so into the stitch into the full stitch front loop and back loop you are going to place two single crochet so that's increase and place your stitch marker into the very first one which was this one here and then you are going to do four single crochet between one, two, three, four, and increase again. So one and two, and again four single crochet. So one, two, three, and four and increase again one and two again four one two three four and increase one and two in single for single crochet one two three four and increase one and two and again four single crochet one two three and four and increase one and two Again, one, two, three, four, and increase one and two. Again, one, two, three, four, and increase one and two. One, two, three, four, increase one and two. One, two, three, four, increase one. Two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. One and two. And again, one, two, three, four, and for the next round we are going to do one round of single crochet only, so no increasing. So where is your stitch marker? Place your first one.
like this and do one round only single crochet all the way around and I meet you where is your stitch marker and I'm finishing this around with a single crochet okay so so far we have done in this first round for our brim we have done two single crochet we started with two single crochet then we have done four single crochet in four stitches increase four stitches increase four stitches and so on for the next round for round two we done only single crochet all the way around and for this third round we are going to do increase round again so this was my last single crochet and for the next stage we are going to do increase so two single crochet and of course replace your stitch marker and then do five single crochet in next five stitches so one two three four and five and increase again so one and two and again one two three four and five and increase again one and two again five one two three four and five and increase again one and two continue until you get to a stitch marker and i have done increase and one two three four and five and make sure you will finish your round like this and replace the stitch marker so i already started my next round with single crochet because my next round will be only single crochet all the way around so no increasing so continue all the way around until you come to your stitch marker so i have last few stitches of my single crochet only round and into this first one where was my stitch marker i will start again increase yes so i will do one and two where was my stitch marker replace your stitch marker and you're gonna do six between so you have done your increase and now we're gonna do six one two three four five six and increase one and two and again one two three four 
five, six, and increase. So continue all the way around. Increase and one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this will be my last increase as I don't want my brim to be too long. But for you, if you want, you can continue this way. So you for the next round, it would be increase seven single crochet between increase seven single crochet between and so on. And then the next round would be just single crochet. And the next round would be increase again. So there would be increase eight stitches between increase eight stitches between and again next round would be single crochet. So you can create very big brims but that would be more for the summer hats this bucket head the brims are usually very short so i am going to stop here and i'm going to finish my head with one last round of single crochet so simply just continue like this and Again, replace your stitch marker and continue placing single crochet. And also, you can make this last round of single crochet more tighter. Okay, so continue all the way around. And my last stitch here, and I'm going to do one stitch. Where is my stitch marker? Like so. So you can fasten off now, like so. Cut your yarn, or you can do last thing which I am going to do and I am going to end up my bucket head with a crab stitch and the crab stitch is a reversed single crochet and to do reverse single crochet you simply going to insert your hook into the next stitch like so wrap it and bring it up you will get two loops like this on your hook yarn over and pull through and you are going to do so in every stitch around so you are gonna go <laughs> backwards and this is called a grab stitch So I will finish my bucket head with a grab stitch. So continue like this all the way around. And remember, this part is optional. You can and you don't have to do it. And I'm nearly at the end and I am going to take my stitch marker out so it's not in the way as I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to finish my crab stitch. Like so and one last one. And then I'm going to turn my head like so and slip stitch into this very first one like this okay so we slip stitched oopsie daisy my stitch marker is on the floor and now we are ready to fasten off so simply just chain one like this and grab your scissors And 
stand off like this and of course don't forget to hide your band also if you have maybe chain you can add it to your bucket head on top like this if you like it more interesting and also i ordered these from etsy these beautiful ribbons i have different one i have this one and this one and they were very cheap and when i put it on top of this bucket head it looks very well as well so you can just simply stitch it on <laughs> so i just i'm gonna give you a few more ideas how to finish this packy head And this is our beautiful bucket hat. I think it looks amazing. Let me just show you. As you can see, this scrap stitch is giving our bucket a really nice finish. And also, the way we done the front loop single crochet before we started our brim and made it go really nicely as you can see it goes really nice so this is our beautiful bucket hat i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia Thank you very much for watching.